Hey guys, how you doing today? Yes, I have a confession to make today. I have a lot of hate in my heart. And I'm going to tell you what it's for. I absolutely, absolutely hate sin. I hate evil. I hate every way of Satan. I hate every demonic spirit that tries to attack me and my family and my friends, my loved ones. I hate the evil that sometimes even comes out of me, um, a, a spirit of pride or selfishness or a, a word that might hurt somebody or whatever it is. I cannot stand it. I despise it. And I hate the evil that comes out of other people to try to attack me. And um, I hope that you can understand. I have a lot of love in my heart. And that's why I have so much hate for evil. The more love you have in your heart for God, the more love you have in your heart for uh, the goodness and doing what's right, the more hate you have for evil. And I just absolutely despise it. I cannot stand it. I cannot stand thinking a wrong thought. And it happens often. I can't stand taking a wrong action. I can't stand saying a wrong word that hurts somebody. But I do speak the truth. And even though I speak the truth sometimes in love, the person on the receiving end of the truth, sometimes they get hurt. It hurts their feelings. And I hate it that they get hurt. But I love the truth. I love what the truth does for someone when they finally accept it, they listen to it, they hear it, they receive it, and then they act upon it. So I hope you're hearing me. I hope you can relate. Because I know we all deal with things that are hurtful in our life. We've all committed sin. We've all done wrong things. And those of us that have a good heart, love in our heart, we feel so horrible about the things we've done. We despise the things we've done. We cannot stand it. We're glad that we can learn from it and that God turns all things around for the good of those who love Him or are called according to His purpose. Yes, it's wonderful that He'll do that for us. But if you have the right heart, you'll have conviction in your spirit, in your heart. You'll know when you've done something wrong and you'll feel horrible about it. You'll apologize for it and you'll repent. You'll ask God to forgive you. you ask the other person to forgive you and you'll actually do something about it to try to fix it. You don't keep doing the same thing. If you actually love God and you hate evil, you'll continue to pray and ask God to help you to do the right thing. And you'll apologize to the people that you hurt. And you'll just hate evil so much. To where every day of your life, you live your life for Jesus Christ. You'll live your life to do better, to make improvements every day and not do the same old stupid things that you've been doing. You might do the same things, but you hate it and you try to fix it. Are you with me? So I want to encourage you. I want to pray for you real quick. Pray for me too. Hallelujah. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. And I pray for every person that hears this message, Lord. I pray, Father, that they love you so much that they just hate evil. They despise every evil thing. Every thing that is of Satan. And I just pray, Father, that you would guide us into all truth, that we would accept the truth and we would want to fix every area of our life that is not in line with your word and your ways. Thank you for that, Father. Correct me, Father. Show me your way. Anything that is not of you that's in me, Lord, correct me. I despise it, I hate it, and I want to fix it, Lord. I want to live a life pleasing unto you. And I thank you for giving me the strength to do that, Lord, and guiding me. I give myself to you. I surrender all in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that you made that your prayer as well and that you are serious about growing in the grace and the love of God, growing His Word, and follow His ways, His will, not your own. God bless you. I wish you the best.